Hello and welcome to the KW Ranch. Today we are going to talk a little bit about orange juice. Um, I did a little research on orange juice and realized that not a lot of the orange juice actually has orange juice in it. They have natural flavors and they have a lot of water at it. So I did look up a few comparable products and discovered that there are a few things on the market, but they are pricey, pricey, pricey. One of the most pricey items happens to be uh, Lakewood juice, orange juice. The ingredients actually says how many oranges are actually in it. Nine to 10 oranges per 32 ounces, which at 32 ounces is a quart size, standard quart size jar. And that's actually what my plan is to fill up. Um, now last year, instead of freezing the orange juice or just can't, uh, juicing them as we drank them, I decided I wanted to do a little bit of canning of the orange juice. I highly do not recommend doing that. It is the worst thing in the world. Now, there are two different ways to juice your juice, your, your orange juice. Well, first, do a little squeeze, like take your orange, smush it on your, your cutting board to loosen up the juice, and then cut them in half. When they're cut in half, you have your old fashioned juicer which is like this. And then you're gonna take it and you're gonna take it and put it on top of a good half gallon because it fits perfectly. And then you just juice it. The old fashioned juicing way, which honestly can be in quite that workout on your arms. Um, I was not a big fan of this, to be honest. Not something I like to, to do, especially when you're doing two cases of it. So I went out and got, let me finish this one. I went out and got an electric juicer. Those things are awesome. And see, we already got some juice in the bottom of this. But I went out and bought an electric juicer. It's this cute little doodad here. You plug it in, set myself a little plug over here. And you take the cover off it, you take your juice, and you just push it down. And voila, all done. So, like I was saying, I found one comparable product. And I tur it turns out the ingredients is 9 to 10 oranges per 32 ounce jar, which I showed you the jar. That's $15 for a freaking jar of orange juice. Now I did look up a few other ones like the Tropicana orange juice. It says it's hundred percent juice or even my favorite, Simply Orange. Simply Orange is the one orange juice that I buy all the time when I go to the store. Well, after looking up the ingredients, it's less than 1% of actual orange juice. So less than 1% of 32 ounces is actual orange juice. The rest of it is natural flavoring, coloring, filtered water, and preservatives, citric acid and whatnot. The other one is the Tropicana orange juice. Now that's a $5 bottle and it says it's 100% orange juice, but after, after you look up the ingredients, you find out that it's from concentrate. So it's got frozen oranges, now I looked up how to make your own concentrate orange juice as well. Now you basically, you take your orange juice, you freeze it, and then you let it drip out of the ice when it's not fully frozen. And then you use that and you add water to it. So it, it technically has orange juice in it, technically, but it's mostly water. And, that, and then it also has natural flavorings. So a lot of the orange juices that you buy in the store barely has any actual orange juice in it. It has mostly natural ingredients, natural food coloring, and water. So that is basically today's little pep talk on oranges. Now, my plan this year is to actually freeze the orange juice, orange juice in the quart size jars. Um, last year, I canned them. Do not recommend canning orange juice at all. It was probably the worst mistake I've ever made. The stuff tastes horrible. Um, if I can explain something that tastes that bad, I would explain it. I, but no, 
I, I don't recommend it. I am going to try freezing it this year. I am one quart per week and see how many we're going to need. I'm hoping that the two boxes of orange juice I have is enough. Now, I'm also going to end up doing a lot of zesting of the oranges. I'm going to take the skin off and I'm going to have some in some quart size jars as well with vinegar to make my own cleaning products. Uh, I do use that year round rather than buying rather than buying cleaning products. I absolutely love citrus vinegar for cleaning. It works great and your house ends up smelling like an orange. Um, you can also do it with lemons, which I'll talk to you about when I do the lemons. And then finally, I do a micro, micro zester and I zest the orange zest off and I add it to sugar and I make citrus sugar. Citrus sugar can be used for cooking. It can be put in your tea. Um, it's great in butter cookies, to be honest. Gives it a nice citrus punch to it. And then there's also orangello. Orange cello is just like limoncello, but instead of using lemons, zest, or peels, you're gonna use orange peels. When you use the orange peels, you put them in vodka, you let it sit for a few months, and then you do a simple syrup and you make, you combine the simple syrup along with the orange vodka. And well, if you start it now, it'll be ready for Easter. I think that might be it. Just a quick little thing, because I don't think you guys want to actually stand here and watch me zest or juice every single one of these. Um, I will be back at a different time when I do the zesting of the oranges and the lemons. I'll try to do those both at the same time to show you how that works. And we'll go from there. All right, well, thank you for joining us on this little orange juice do conversation, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye.